Tonight, we've learned the former deputy who killed Andres Guardado will not face criminal charges. The shooting sparked protests and resulted in an $8 million settlement. But the DA says there's not enough evidence to charge the former deputy. KCAL News reporter Lauren Posen live in downtown LA with what experts are saying about the DA's decision. Lauren. Well, Juan and Pat, you know, they definitely are weighing in tonight. And you might remember, yes, this case caused protest. It caused inflamed passions. And it took nearly three years to investigate. And now tonight we've learned that the DA will not pursue criminal charges against this fired deputy. It was a tense scene from the very beginning. Family and friends confronting deputies, demanding to know why Andreas Gallardo was shot while he was working as a security guard at a Gardena body shop. The shooting led to protests. The family demanding to know why he was shot five times in the back. Deputies said he had a gun and reached for it. Tonight, the L.A. County D.A. says he will not file criminal charges because the whole case comes down to the words of the deputies and there are no witnesses. In a statement, L.A. County D.A. George Gascon says this decision doesn't validate the actions of these officers. They've had a troubling background of misconduct, and that was thoroughly considered. Sadly, at the end of the day, we do not believe there is enough evidence to prove the case beyond a reasonable doubt. Legal analyst and attorney Rachel Fizet says the lack of witnesses is a problem. The D.A. only has the witnesses who are actually the defendants who would actually be the suspects that would be charged with the case, which are the two deputies. And their statements are clear statements that this was an act in self-defense. And unfortunately, in a homicide, the victim is not a witness. But because he was shot in the back, they pursued looking at charging this case because that those shootings in the back are not necessarily indicative of self-defense. Retired LAPD senior detective supervisor Timothy Williams says when officers use force, it's for one reason, to stop a threat. He wonders if that was really the case here. It was hard for me to understand if a person is on the ground, his, his arms are stretched out, using the side because the gun wasn't, wasn't there, was out of his reach. It doesn't take five shots to control a situation that could be lethal. The key is the preservation of life. You, you're, not, you're not hired to kill. You're hired to, to protect life, and you use that force, which is necessary to get the job done. And we reached out to the family's attorney tonight. In a statement, they said in part, they are disappointed the DA won't be pursuing charges to hold this deputy accountable, and they will forever be devastated by the loss of their son. Reporting live in downtown Los Angeles, Lauren Posen, KCAL News.